Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to part 17 of this Womblin campaign for Star Trek Armada Fleet Call to Arms. Now before we continue with the video, there are just two things I want to... Well, sorry, just one thing really I wanted to point out is... I want to apologise for anyone who actually comments on the video and I don't reply to. I mean, I know for example you, Corey, you comment quite often on my videos. And it is appreciated, it's great to see. But for some reason Google doesn't... I mean, YouTube I should say, although technically it belongs to Google. So either way I suppose you can look at it. But for some reason it doesn't always tell me when I have actually had comments on my videos. I do have to go through Video Manager just to see if there's any new comments or looks like there might be some comments so I can actually check them out. So if I don't actually reply to your messages, you know, or comments on that, I am sorry guys. I do try to do, keep up to date but it's the difficult if I'm not getting informed by Google and I don't know why because it should, does it does sometimes do it, just not all the time. So I am sorry guys but you know just have to bear with me with this sort of thing okay. Anyway back to this, we are, I don't know why he keeps planning in on Samarkand, I really don't know. Anyway we will come back. So, as you saw in the last episode, we have started to make some slight expansions back out into space. We have tried to conquer some provinces. We're trying to at least build up a little bit of an empire so we can get more money coming in because that is a major issue at the moment. I've got all this fleet, su fleet supply to use. And as you can see, I do have a lot of capital ships and that which are using it. But I don't actually have many cruises or anything like that. And it's hard to do it because even though Zella allows me to build my ships are quite cheap. It doesn't really help too much if uh, I haven't got the income coming in. So I am trying to uh, fight back and plus that I need to try and uh, hold my front lines a bit. So for example if we come to Ethereum where we managed to capture it last episode. I do have example the sh sh another station being built. Shadowheart station. Nice name. For example here. But it's also trying to build it up. I need the resources to try and build it up. And so it is slowly taking place. In the meantime down south we do have a con where is it? I do have a colony vessel here which has been sneakily going around and trying to capture some of the Klingon, Feder Klingon Empire's planets because I managed to catch, find one or two like here and I believe Athabasca might thing, although, oh no, what am I thinking of? I haven't been to Arabasca for a long, long time. I, is it here, maybe? I could have swore I've been somewhere before on one of these planets. Anyway, so that's what the plan is. And also, thank you, Koi, for telling me that the scimitar is actually Praetor Shinzon's sh ship from Star Trek Nemesis. Yeah, I, and don't worry, like I said, I am. I do know about the Enterprise, don't worry. Thing, although technically it's one of w several Enterprises, since Kirk also had one as well. <laughs> don't worry, I'm just being picky then. I <laughs> know, mate. But, yeah, like I said, my knowledge of Star Trek, the, in the Star Trek universe, is, I'd probably say, basic at best. I do know some of the things, like I said, I've got more specialties with some of the, the series than others. But,. I mean, you know, you know, I like Star Trek, but I'm not a, the big know-all know when it comes to Star Trek the culture. So, yeah, sorry about that. And uh, thanks, Q Corey, for letting me know. Okay, what we got to show you about here? Oh crap! I forgot they had this Uni Matrix complex. This, by the way, is a starbase of the Borg, and as you can see. Its armor is quite powerful, even at this low state. Its weapons are quite powerful, and it does has a lot more hull. I mean, if you compare that to that one, look, armor seven, shields, and that about a grand total of what? Which is under about fifty-five thousand, or fifty-nine thousand, maybe. Sorry, fifty-four thousand to say. Um, yeah, we still got all these as well. Thankfully, we managed to get to the planet before Unicomplex managed to build it, which is something. But, uh, we've got all these ships here as well. We've got... How many ships do you have, probably have here? Right? Trying to come up against me as usual. 
I got 6, 12, 18, 24, 32. Uh, sorry, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. Uh, plus that. Say fifth. We've got 54 ships against my 12 and the, the Shadow Heart. Uh, I've seen worse, I guess. Uh, we've got some Raiders as well. Where is my capital? Okay, so the scimitar is there. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to tell it to head back over to Nocturna, just so we can try and capture that. I do need to try and see something about half four as well. Ah, let's keep destroying my stuff. I don't want them to. Ah, a little bit like that. <laughs> hey, thankfully. Thankfully, one of the thing, handy things the is the fact that I do have a few, you know, My all these ships are pretty low class, so you know some of them are taking a bit of damage, like that one, for example. It means I can actually build up their experience a hell of a lot. Okay, you really need to start moving out the way. Alright, Singularity, click that. Who are they? Pride of the Empire. Oh, these some of these ships are really taking some casualties now. Alright. Can I build an Imperial Dock? Yes, I can. Build that one here. Quickly what before one of the ships gets destroyed. So please, my little Imperial Constructor, get your ass down there. Okay, so actually, oh, it's heading that way. Okay, I forget, it takes the easy route. So let's have a quick look. What's happening here? Oh, Afabasca hasn't been colonized. The enemy starship. Oh, no, 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 no. Another dreadnought's been built. I've already destroyed two, I believe, progenitor classes, and they're still bringing more. Planetary research is complete. All right. Fine. Right. Allow it, the dock to be built for me, please. Don't let me lose any of my ships. We serve only the Tal Shiar. Okay. Colonel Mouse Injection is heading towards Sahila as well. Alright, gravitational shockwave activated. Oh, you're not anywhere near the fleet. That would shall be done. Would have been helpful. Your will. Okay, you guys enemy ships head back a bit. Hippocus. Why is Warp Speed Centurion? Ah, uh. my life for the Empire. Okay, so enemy culture is too strong now at the moment for me to build up. Hippocus, here we are. All right, so it's trying to be a bit sneaky with the them and bring them in from behind. Planetary research is complete. All right, so what? Lay the course. Actually, but. Pop here, engines. to Pinsipea, and have a look. See what's going on there. Initiate communications. Right. Let the ships out. Fighters out, and... Start taking these out. Back My to the fleet. Is ready. We lie in the shadows. Has that not been... Oh, don't tell me they decided to destroy the little Imperial Constructor of mine. Oh, hate it when I do that. Okay, let's get that going. So I do need to fortify the place and I need I money serve? coming in, so let's build this up. Let's get advanced strike right after this one. Every little bit of extra damage helps. Uh, that can have gravitational shockwave as well. You can get absorption layer. Alright, I don't know where a lot of the enemy fleet seems to have disappeared to. Because Alright. The Praetor will be pleased. I thought come out, oh, dear me. Go and attack, please. I was expecting more ships, so I don't know where they all got to. Uh, 
Right. Okay, so they haven't lost that My one life yet. For the Empire. All right. Lay in a course. Let's bring you guys back down here first. All right. Warbird reporting. That's right, that's a really handy thing. We've got so much Warbird experience with some of these little ships. Constantly trying to attack. It does help out a great deal. Uh, supercharged torpedo oh, for you. Alright, right. tactical assault. Your will. Absorption layer. <laughs> None can hope to match us. The reason why I'm going for the more we defensive the side of things is just because they are quite handy when it comes to uh, fighting up against the Borg. I'd rather have them be able to survive a bit longer and then do more damage to the enemy that way rather than having to deal with it the other way. I'm trying to eliminate ships just before they uh, die, so that's we my reason behind it. The enemy. Alright. Have you managed to try to capture that one for me yet, please? It is more brave right. to live capture than to die. That. All right, but how having more and more ships heading towards Ethereum. That is really frustrating, but there's not really a lot I can do in this. Alright. Is it possible getting Oh sh shoot. Your will. Okay, guys, get out of there. Proceeding. Get out of there quickly as possible, please. Don't wait for the All for fighters, dock and uh, get out of there. This is for anyone who hasn't seen it before in one of my previous videos, that is their dreadnought class. Is as you can see, a lot of damage. It does a lot of things, and I can take it out with the he my fl as long as I have my capital ships and bring all of them back here, because the star space there, yeah, star st star base, yeah, star base down here in Zelda is completely upgraded, and we should hopefully be able to hold quite out quite effectively against it. These, this isn't. In fact, it hasn't got any upgrades because I haven't had the money to do it. Um, Engage engines. Can I afford Engage to try engines. and squeeze it in now? Oh, Rappy. That took a. That was a hit. Take us to war, Subcommander. Proceed, Centurion. Alright. Swiftly and silently. So, how much do I need with this offensive overhaul? Okay, so I can sell some of that and get that in. Engage engines. Alright. I'm gonna leave. Fleet can actually just come here. Initiate communication. Just so we can uh, sort them out in terms of. Okay, you Engage can come back down. Engines. Okay, so we got. That's been captured. It's right. more brave to live. We're going to have a quick look down here at uh, Polybus and see what's going on here. Scalarina. Hmm. Alright, the pirates actually just... Pirates are still going... Whoa, my Jesus. Warp speed, Centurion. That is a lot of ships heading off from here. Where is this? Chebeshev. Oh, Jesus. Right. As you can see, that's not going to last long. I mean, this is my crew is ready. Uh, engage engines. Let's see if we can. I should. Oh, we lost it. We lost the ship anyway. Crap. My Actually, guys, stay ready. here for the moment. Might as well cancel the upgrade for this. I think. Oh no, I've already done it. Alright, see if we can tell it to at least try and do some damage against us, maybe. We have engaged the enemy. So it's only got the one disruptor. Not too bad, but... All energy to engines. 
I so, said, this is a problem. They have. The problem with the boys, you can see, they own a lot of planets. It means they have a lot of resources. Oh. Uh, it is more brave to live than to die. I'll tell you what, I'm going to try and be sneaky. Let's, Lay in a course. let's have a quick look there and see what they've got on some of the back planets. Alright. My crew is ready. Let's grab the fleet. We're going to bring them back Moving to Zona. Out. Just so we can actually start forward to find it and get them ready behind. Proceeding. Because I've got a patented almost way to deal with their dreadnoughts. So engines. I'm happy to try Take and do that. Okay. You're engage ready here. Alright. Bring you guys here. Take us to warp, sub commander. Alright. Let's take these out. Proceed, Centurion. All right, have we got? Let's sell some of these. We're gonna get. Let's have a quick look. See Swiftly what do we have again for this? Shadow, Tavera, Buzzard. We'll get another Buzzard, I think. Cultural revolutionaries on Hippocast threaten to overthrow our government. Oh. It would help. I suppose if I didn't. Hello, alert. Frangi scavengers heading towards our system. Alrighty. Oh, I managed to eventually build the repair dock in the end. That must be what's uh, repairing the hole for this. Alright. I suppose it is doing a little bit of damage, but not a lot. Warbird reporting. Warden pirates have arrived at Ethereon. Oh, great. Okay, and I just wasted all my money, essentially. We've located the enemy. Alright, of course, pirates are going after us, and I've just wasted some money on nothing. Whoops. Uh, to be honest, guys, I am amazed at this... Reporting. Cap this, um... Series has lasted as long as it has. I mean, we're on episode 17 right now, I believe. And, yeah, 17, that was like. And, you know, we are severely outnumbered. We have a. L we are only fighting them off the best we can. And yet, we are doing quite well. I'm pretty proud of myself and how this game is going. Right. One thing I do need to do, I need to check. I need the money to try and. Um, we're going to try and designate Zelna as a capital planet because we have a. L I mean, look at that. Our allegiance is 35% because I have a capital planet somewhere and I don't know where it is. If I had to guess, I'd still think that they're probably, the computer is probably considering. Where are we? Berenike. No, not Berenike. Atlantica, all the way up here as my capital ship planet, even though. We haven't owned it for quite a while. So we need 300 and 200. So I'll tell you what, let's sell some of these. There we go. So that there, should hopefully incre start increasing our allegiance and everything now. Hopefully. Once this is finished rebuilding. And hopefully we can do it just in time then to actually hold off the. Uh, that doesn't help that their culture is spread in along here as well. Alright, how is this Star Wars holding out? It is still holding out. Still. I absolutely love Star Bases and that is why. But it does take... It it does take a while for them to think, but then ships you need the right. other ships and I couldn't fight off the... I didn't want to try fighting it off, I think, the Dreadnoughts with just that. I mean, granted, they haven't got too many ships here that we could have done a bit better, I suppose. Might have been... Your will. Tell you what, actually. Let's, let's do this. Engines. Right. Put you guys on to group one. Moving let's out. bring them Initiate all over. Communications. Right. My crew is ready. 
We can just, it is holding our thing. Hopefully we can at least try and do some damage against it and then bring up the fleet back if necessary. So there we go. We have a new capital planet of Zelna. Alright, hopefully that's going to start silently. dealing some problems then with we've been having with this. Engage engines. And proving the allegiance Engage under our engines. control. Engage engines. Engage engines. Alright. The Swiftly other thing I need to do and as well, I think. Engage oh, we've got a couple engines. of planet there. Alright. Let's plan set of logistics. I want to tell our listening post, so let's sell some of that. Stick that here. So at least we can try fighting back the enemy culture and hopefully help out when it comes to our allegiances on these planets. That is doing surprisingly well. Huh. It's a shame I can't have got the money anymore to actually try and build anything else with it. Warbird reporting. Alright. Enemy ships have arrived. Say goodbye to Zelda. Proceeding. Huh. Alright. Proceeding. We lost the colony. Oh. Yes, I would like to see you try and eliminate the Zona. All energy to engines. I really would. I mean, look at that. One, they got badly damaged ships, no doubt from the Borg. We've got Starbase bombers coming around already. Trying to take these out. So I'm not too concerned. Reporting. Reason why I'm doing with these now is just for the moment, I'm putting them all in the, the sort of row ready Initiate to deal with. Communications. Take us to Alright, let's activate Perfect Cloak. Fire torpedoes at will. Swiftly and right. silently. So this way now we can Shall focus all power on this. Warp signatures detected. All right. And so I'm, I'm not doing, I'm not going to last too long here. So we're actually going to take them off non group As soon as it looks like we're taking, we're going to take some casualties. I'm just going to retreat them then. My crew is right. ready. Let's build up that. Okay, and yes, Warbird just continue reporting. to attack the dreadnoughts. Initiate communications. Fighters reporting. I can make you guys group too, and attack that Intercept as well. Course set, Commander. Okay, we're going to zoom in a little bit, just see how it's going. Right. How are we doing? Okay, we are knocking it down slowly, but as you can see, it has a lot of armor. It's got over a hundred thousand health. Warp so, signature is detected. So, Enemy oh, why right, we lost two arrived. ships? Okay. We cannot, Commander. Okay, guys, you can get out of there now before Engage we lose any more. Engage engines. The only problem is going to be some of these uh, Harrier classes because they've got so many of their bombers there. Engage engines. Engage engines. Yeah, because they've got so many of their bombers and that in one pl uh, there. We have to wait for all of them to get back. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to bring reporting. the whole fleet back Engage here. Engage engines. Ready to deal with uh, them should they at try to attack. Uh, what did I actually have here? Because we were looking at th this place. Take us to warp. So oh, that's one place to try and colonize. It is more brave to live. Uh, than let's to continue die. have a look at Empathos. Engage engines. Engage engines. That's it, guys. Oh, they managed to eliminate security. another ship of mine. Will be pleased. Okay, you can drop the cloak now, actually. Okay, drop cloak. There we go. Engage engines. Engage 
Engage engines. All right, so you guys can all come there. Initiate you guys can come here. Engage engines. All right, so we need to start. Enemy ships. We'll place the council ships again. Engage Say goodbye to Antigon. Ah, uh, well. Starbase under attack. Alright, let's have a quick look see what we did We lost two to Derek's classes and a Harrier. So let's build another Harrier. And silently. Let's build those, there we go. Alright. Okay, we're going to start soon, I think, start losing Zelna. No, if Zelna, if you're on. Oh no, hang on. What are the Borg trying to do? They, are they actually... They're not leaving, are they? Oh. Uh, let's put a little colony ship there. My life for the Empire. Can I, can I colonize because hostile culture is too strong here? Uh, we've got so much enemy culture around, it's Lay unbelievable. Course. Okay, what we're going to start doing as well, I f may as well do it, I suppose, is try and build up some cruisers and that. So let's see what we've got. How may I serve? Falcons, we can get a couple of these. Engage let's engines. just sell some of this. Now that we're getting a bit more Four metal and detected. crystals coming in, I can afford to do this a bit more, so let's get some of that. Mm. Ships let's, uh, arrived. let's get eight of these. Oh my god, they're actually leaving. If you're on Take think, us to warp. To something. myself. I mean, granted, they are. Take us to warp. It's quite a bad thing. They haven't got anything around it to actually try and help. But they're actually leaving the Furion. Why is that? And I do need to deal with this one as well. Alright, all things to try and squeeze in, I guess. Oh, and they got How pirates coming after us. Really? How really, I guys? Serve? Your will. Initiate communications. Uh, okay. Okay, we are getting quite a bit of money coming in as well. I didn't notice that yet. So, let's see. We will build... I want to get a little bit to these, uh, let's see, griffins, harpies, heavy defenders. You guys have got pretty good, long range, you've got heavy armaments, and you can take more damage. Let's get a couple of these. We lack the resources. Alright. Oh my god, they have actually left Ethereon. Why are you guys leaving Ethereon? Huh. Alright, let's get two more there. Warbird reporting. Ah, uh, damn turtle. I don't know what it is about my younger brother's turtle. It is very Your will. aggressive. It, it doesn't bite or anything. I mean, we don't touch it because that can be quite traumatic for them. But it really is aggressive. It tries knocking around. It's the pump we got in there. That it's we've what lost one. What it was called the water heaters because of it. You know, it just, it just seems to be very pissed off <laughs> turtle. Yeah, I just don't understand it. How may I serve? Okay, Doug, so Alright. We do have one last scout cube. Oh we finally got a little constructor back. Right. Let's have a quick can we afford this? No, we're gonna build up a bit more of the fleet. We have engaged the enemy. Ship near if you aren't under attack. That will be the little constructor. Alright. 
let's see what else can we get from here. I want to get a couple to this class because these are heavy artillery. These stand quite far back and can do a fair little bit of damage with their plasma torpedoes. So let's get how many of these can we afford? Not a lot. Tell you what, sell some of that. We're only going to get four of these. How may I serve? Get a well, one, two, three. And come on, any second now. Four. Right. Ping that back there. Okay, guys. That's going to be the end of this episode. Actually, I'm just going to pause this. So, we did take a bit of thing where we lost the star base, the Shadow Heart Station, over on the Furion. But surprisingly, the enemy has left it available to us, even though we have lost there's not really anything we can do with it because we keep attacking the little constructor ships and they have left a star base on the outskirts which ready to try and deal with anyone who we think we really try and do that but what we can tr do then is we're building up the fleet now as you can see we've got to tr build up a lot of cruisers a lot of we've got capital ships we've got the scimitar as well we're going to put that one massive fleet and we're just going to pile it straight towards the fury yard capture that completely and then or even well unfortunately we can't try and be sneaky by going down and try and capture some of these more planets so we can get resources from behind that's that's one of those things i guess so that's the plan in the next episode we're going to build up the fleet again hopefully with a scimitar a full squad uh, range of capital ships and dozens of cruisers Hopefully that will tip at the edge towards us. Hopefully then we can take out a Furion and deal, hopefully, a massive blow to the Borg. Enough that we can actually try and start conquering planets back, which is what we need to do, I think. And as usual then, guys, please feel free to, if you're liking the episode, then hit the like button. Uh, if you have any comments or you want to do about the series so far, or if you have any advice that you want to give me, then please let me know in the bottom. Uh, thing, it's always appreciated. And as I've always said, if you know if I do follow your advice, I am more than happy to sh you know take, give you credit for it. And if you are enjoying the series so far and you want to keep updated with the new episodes, then please hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, I shall see you next time. Have a good weekend if you're only watching this one. Otherwise, bye for now.